Hi, my name is Peter Officer. I'm a customer success manager here at WorkGrid, and I'd like to thank you for joining me today for the Q4 WorkGrid Customer Community Webinar. As this is an on-demand webinar, if you have any questions or would like additional information on any of the material that is covered during this presentation, please feel free to either reach out to your customer success director or reference the Help Center. Today's webinar will focus on the new functionality WorkGrid has delivered over Q4. We'll be providing an overview of each new feature and catalog application, and I'll kick things off with the updates to Publisher and Survey, then move right into the new and updated catalog apps and provide demonstrations of each. Following the discussion and demonstration of these new and updated features and apps, I'll pass things over to our product manager, Mike Meisner, who will provide an update and demonstration on WorkGrid's integration with Microsoft Teams, and will provide some additional information on our beta release. A quick disclaimer here and pause, mainly for the latter part of this session. As we all know, roadmaps are potentially subject to change and shift and should be intended for informational purposes only. And so with that, let's dive right into the recent updates from Q4. The first new feature I'd like to discuss today is the new image library for publisher and survey. Console users with admin rights for publisher and or survey can now upload an image to or choose an image from the newly delivered image library within publisher and survey. The image library can be accessed while creating a notification on the content step. Admins can simply scroll to the notification summary image or detail image section to review the options. Please note that the detail card image option is only available for publisher and not accessible via survey. You can add an image in the Add Summary Image section of the content page. Simply upload a file from your device, select View Library, or click Use Image URL to import an image from a link on the web. If you choose to add an image by uploading it from your device, the image will be added to your Spaces image library, and all publisher and survey admins will be able to view and use these images in the summary image or detail image sections of publisher and survey when they create their own notifications. For best quality, we suggest using an image which is 80 pixels wide at a minimum. Larger images will be automatically scaled to fit, and it's important to note that square images will best retain the original image quality. Another tip, if you choose to link out to an image source using a URL, we ask that you please use your own source as provided by your organization. Using a third-party source may at times cause display issues if the link, image, or site is altered by the third party. In many cases, it may be best to upload your image directly when applicable to prevent broken images. Otherwise, make a note to check on your images routinely to ascertain that the image continues to display correctly. At this time, it's only possible to delete an image from the library upon first upload by clicking the red trash icon I will soon demonstrate. I also want to call out, as a future feature enhancement, we will consider edit and delete capabilities for the image library. So let's go ahead and take a look at the console so I can provide some additional context and a quick demonstration. As you can see, I'm within the WorkGrid console here within Publisher, and I've gone ahead and created a sample Publisher notification for today's webinar. I'm within the configuration page, and you can see that I now have the ability to upload an image, view library, or use image URL. I'm going to go ahead and view the image library. Once I'm within the library, again, I can see all of the images that have previously been uploaded, or I can upload my own. Now that I've uploaded my image, I can see that there are actually quite a few WorkGrid logos already in the image library. So I'll go ahead and delete this one and choose this one. Great. My image has been uploaded to my publisher notification, and I'm good to keep going on to content. What a time saver, right? I'd like to now shift gears and dive into the new and updated catalog apps. The first catalog app I'd like to cover is the new IT Help Desk app. The IT Help Desk app for WorkGrid brings some of the most important features of your IT Service Management System, or ITSM, 
into the WorkGrid experience for quick access to important tools and information. An employee can use the app to create a help desk ticket through the Natural Language Chatbot, which sends confirmations of ticket-related events in a To Know Smart notification right to the employee. At this time, the IT Help Desk app integrates with ServiceNow, Jira, and with Zendesk coming soon in Q1 of 2022. Additionally, we can also integrate with other common ITSM systems as well. It's also important to note, and I want to call out, that there may be an additional cost to the API connection as determined by your account with ServiceNow, Jira, or Zendesk. So what are some potential benefits to end users? Well, they won't have, it, have to navigate to the source system to submit, check on the status, or comment on any of their open ITSM tickets. This reduces context switching, allowing them to stay focused at their task at hand. Additionally, with the smart notifications, they're automatically kept up to date on any progress related to their ticket or if there's any further action that they need to take part on. So let's review the chatbot's conversation feature. Well, employees can use the natural language or the IT help desk chat menu to interact with the app and your enterprise ITSM system. The chatbot can open a new ticket, show the user the status of a ticket, add a comment to a ticket, and close a ticket. And using natural language, employees can ask the chatbot to do any of the previously mentioned tasks as well. They can simply type, create a ticket, new incident, show me ticket status, what's happening with my incident, edit ticket, close incident, resolve ticket, the list goes on. And we continuously train the chatbot to understand how employees interact naturally so that it understands or really a wide range of tasks. And as for the smart notification feature, well, the IT Help Desk app sends the following one-way notifications to alert a user of progress on their ticket. Each notification has a summary card and a detail panel, providing them in further information. They get informed when the ticket's created, when comments are added, if a ticket's been assigned or if the assignee has been changed, if the ticket's been closed or resolved, and the user can also click a deep link included in the notification to directly access the ticket and make changes. Or they can use the natural language chatbot to add comments to or close their ticket. Just want to call out too that we, we currently only support one IT help desk chatbot feature per space. However, we're currently working on the ability to support more than one ITSM chatbot in the same space. So, keep, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, you ready to see this in action? All right, I've na navigated to my local intranet here. This is actually just a demo site, but I've got my work grid toolbar on the left-hand side. If I go over to the chat bot, I can either interact with the IT help desk by the chat window here or by clicking on the app tray. Now I'm given a couple options. I can open a new ticket, check the status of a ticket, add a comment or close. I'm gonna go ahead and open a new one. Great, lets me know that they can help me out, just wants to know what I'd like to title my ticket. I've assigned it a name or a title. Wants to know what my issues are exactly. So let me detail this out. I'm gonna say that I cannot access my email. Great. Wants to know if I'm ready to submit based on my title and my summary. And at this point, I think I'm good to go. Perfect. I've got my ticket created. And if I want to interact further within the source system, I can by clicking on this link. And boom, I'm right there. I can interact further if need be, but I think I'm pretty good to go. So what about those smart notifications, right? So if I click over here in my to know, I can see I've actually got a couple. I've submitted a couple tickets in the past, but I see I'm kept up to date in real time within 15 minutes or so of progress on my, uh, on my ticket. Pretty great, so I can stay heads down in my work. The next catalog app I'll be covering is the new Time Off app. The WorkGrid Time Off app gives employees an overview of their available time off balance without having to log into the source system. 
The app displays the remaining days or hours for multiple types of time off, such as paid time off, volunteer hours, or sick leave as defined in the source system. Additionally, the user sees the end date of the timesheet to which the remaining time had been calculated, accrued, and used, as well as a disclaimer which can be customized within the console. The Time Off app currently integrates with UKG Pro, with paychecks coming soon. Some benefits to end users include easy access to the remaining time off information without having to log into the source system. It makes it clear what type of time off they have available, encouraging those with stockpiles of time to take some vacation time. And it also provides a more granular view of the time off types with names displayed as defined in the source system. Hey, it's the holiday season, so let's go ahead and see how much time off I have to use. So I'm back within my intranet with my WorkGrid toolbar on the left-hand side, and I'll navigate to the app section. Within the app section, I can see the time off app, which lets me know, plain and simple, that I have 106.67 days remaining of vacation time, and I have 31 days remaining of sick time. <laughs> I'd say I have plenty of time off this holiday season, which I am pretty psyched about. The third and final catalog app that I'll be covering today is the updated Payday app. WorkRit's Payday app has new functionality and integrations with new data sources. To give users confidence and up-to-date knowledge about their pay, the WorkRit Payday app gives employees quick access to their most important paycheck information every pay period. The app displays employee payroll data, quickly informing them of the exact amount they have earned for a pay period. And Workers Payday app displays employee salary date, quickly informing employees of the exact amount that they've actually earned for that specific pay period as well. Currently, the Payday app integrates with UKG Pro and Paychex. An integration with ADP Workforce Now is coming soon. And I also just want to call out once again um, that there may be an additional cost to the API connection as determined by your account with UKG Pro or Paychex. So let's go ahead and see it in action. Again, I'm back on my intranet. And if I want to go ahead and interact with my apps here, I can click on the new Payday app, which brings me to that secondary screen just in case there's anybody looking over my shoulder that I don't want to see my paycheck information. I'll go ahead and click that, and this is what displays. I can see how many hours I've worked, my gross pay, the total deductions and withholdings, and my net pay. If I want to interact further, I can go ahead and view paycheck, and it'll take me to the source system, but you know what? I'm good with that. Also, when it comes to installing these apps, I just want to call out that step-by-step -step instructions are available in the Help Center. All you'll have to do is navigate to the Help Center and search Configuring UKG Pro for the Payday app or Configuring Paychecks for the Payday app or, uh, or anything that you might want to do for time off, etc. So everything is available within the Help Center. If you have any questions, please feel free again to reach out to your Customer Success Director or our Product Support Team. Our next major feature release is WorkGrid for Microsoft Teams. As we discussed during last quarter's webinar, over 70% of employees have more than five applications open at any given time. This leads to attention wars between applications. And moreover, with the shift to remote work and the rise of collaboration tools such as MS Teams, employees are spending less time on historical channels such as intranets, and their time is being pulled away from other applications and is being particularly soaked up by Teams for collaboration. So as employees are moving that time and attention away for asynchronous and synchronous communications, they're potentially losing out on signals, notifications, and information that could be happening elsewhere. And to that, WorkGrid for Microsoft Teams is designed to help surface the notifications, signals, and actions where you're actively collaborating. This allows business leads to ensure that their important messages, announcements, and information are not going to be missed. It also allows you to take action and make decisions right within Teams itself. It minimizes the context switching that happens to us all throughout the day. I mean, WorkRid really is the connective tissue within the digital workplace, and now those smart notifications and actions will surface within Teams itself. We're so happy to announce that we've launched our beta release for MS Teams 
with one-way notifications. And to help me demonstrate this new functionality, I've invited our product manager, Mike Meisner, to share a dem demonstration. So Mike, with that, please go ahead and take it away. Thanks, Peter. Hey everyone, Mike Meisner here, and I'm really happy to show off our new WorkGrid app in Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams is our newest channel or newest way to interact with WorkGrid. So WorkGrid is now where your employees are, where people are spending their days. Everyone's in Microsoft Teams. So now as the employee, the end user, I no longer have to pivot out of Microsoft Teams to use another channel or application. From the employer, communicator, communication specialist perspective, I am now going to be more confident that my employees will, number one, see the notifications because they are being badged and notified that there's new information received. Um, as well as we're really driving engagement and adoption of the WorkGrid app with this new channel offering. So we're going to go ahead today. We'll do a quick demo of uh, the Microsoft Teams one-way notifications. We'll talk about what that means. The two-way notifications, we'll give an example using a survey. It could also be from the source system, such as the manager approval of a timesheet or an expense report, for example. But we'll dive into that a little bit. Um, I'm go ahead and we'll kick it off. Over here, I'm going to go ahead and from the uh, content author, the employer um, admin perspective, I'm logged into the WorkRid console. And within the WorkRid publisher, I have a notification set up here, all set to go out. It's basically a Christmas holiday reminder letting the employees know about our days off coming up. You'll notice that our WorkRid app here has been badged with a one, um, letting me know as an end user that I have a new notification to read. Um, you also notice that the chat um, application on the app bar in Teams also is badged. So you can go into either one it and it will be presented in this manner. So um, I'll go ahead, we'll take a look at this. Um, so again, this is a holiday reminder. The offices are closed on the 24th and 27th. Thanks for all your hard work. I'm going to click the detail button and it's going to present the detail information to the employee or as the employee, I can read the detailed notification information. And it says, please remember to set up your out of office uh, messages in Microsoft Outlook. Enjoy the time with your friends and family. So that was a one way notification. The information came from my employer from the WorkRid console and publisher and sent one way from WorkRid to the employee. So that was successfully uh, shown right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and we'll show how the two-way works. So the two-way, um, I'm going to demo this by the WorkRid survey. And so this is an example of a survey that you could send to your employees, um, a 2021 quarter four employee satisfaction survey. Uh, please let us know how you're feeling. Categories feedback, um, a couple quick questions on the scale of one to five. Let us know how satisfied you are. Um, and then any free form comments that the employee wants to add. So we'll go ahead, we'll send this out. I'll publish this. And then on the left again, switching personas back to the end user, I will receive, um, again, you'll see the pop up there. Um, I received the survey. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll click the detail. Um, I'll take the survey right here within the WorkRid app in Microsoft Teams. So this is huge, we no longer have to pivot out um, and use another system. So I'll say I am very satisfied to work here. I'll say Freeform, I love working here, it's awesome. And I'll go ahead and I'll submit this. So right now as an end user, what I'm doing is I'm basically completing that second, um, you'll see, so you'll see right there, it said pending, and then it says it was successfully submitted. So I received the survey, I took the survey and submitted it back, um, completing that two-way. So I'm gonna go ahead over here and you'll see, this is the satisfaction survey that I sent out. And um, so I'm switching personas back to the admin. Um, and I just want to show you that you can see the survey results right here. So you'll see that I successfully took it. I'm very satisfied. And I love working here. It's awesome. Cool. So we'll go back to surveys. And then also, 
if you see the view analytics, it will show that um, the channel that this was um, actioned upon from the end user. So Microsoft Teams is the channel that this was um, submitted by. So that was the one way, the two way. Um, quick little demo there. And coming up next, we're working on future abilities to allow the end users to interact with WorkGrid via chatbot conversations. So stay tuned for more to come. All right, so that was a quick look at our Microsoft Teams WorkGrid app, a look at the one-way notifications, the two-way notifications, and a quick look at what is coming next with the chatbot capabilities. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, definitely let us know, and I'll go ahead and kick it back over to Peter. Thanks, everyone. Thanks so much, Mike. That was fantastic. Just to highlight what Mike went through just now, uh, here's a quick timeline of our deliverables for our Microsoft Teams integration. As Mike just discussed, over Q4, we delivered both one-way smart notifications within Teams and two-way smart notifications as well um, with the personal app chatbot. And we anticipate a full general available delivery um, of Teams with the WorkGrid chatbot in Q1 of 2022. So we're really excited about all the work that has gone into this. Obviously a huge value add for WorkGrid um, and for our, our customers, uh, all of you guys. Um, we hope that you're just as excited as we are. If you have any questions on what was covered during Mike's portion of today's uh, webinar, please feel free to reach out to your customer success director for some additional information. And so with that, I just want to say thank you all so much for joining me today for our Q4 customer community webinar. I feel this was a great session. I was really happy to go through all of the deliverables that we have from Q4, both with our existing core features and with all of our catalog applications, both the updated catalog apps and some of the new ones as well. We hope that you enjoyed the session and that you'll join us again next quarter for our Q1 customer community webinar in Q1 of 2022. Thanks so much, everyone. Happy holiday season. Take care. Thanks so much.